It's, I mean, it's so dystopian, too, to think of the government, because in Sweden, schools are run by the government, to think of the government trying to indoctrinate little kids like this. And it, it seems to me that it actually is uh, inherently stereotypical to segregate kids like that and say, listen, because you're a boy, you need to be taught more how to be like a girl. Yeah, I mean, so it, it's amazing. While they're trying to avoid sex stereotypes on the one hand, they're doubling down on sex stereotypes by teaching boys how to engage in stereotypically feminine activities and teaching girls in how to engage in stereotypically masculine activities. Uh, what we want to do here is say um, men and women are equal. Boys and girls are equal. But we also have different personality traits, different gifts. And we should let people live out who they are without trying to shape them into what we think is the stereotypical way or the anti-stereotypical way that they're supposed to behave. Right, because your line, and this, I just finished your book, by the way. It's very, very good, and I recommend our viewers oh, uh, go you. watch it. But one, one of the best lines, I think, or, and I, I, I suppose you constructed this as a talking point, too, but biology isn't bigotry. I mean, it's three words, very, very simple, very, very true here, because it's not bigoted of little boys to prefer to play with other little boys. It's not bigoted of little girls to prefer to play with dolls instead of roughhousing. And that's what happened when this preschool actually separated the kids outside of this indoctrinating the little boys actually preferred to do the masculine things regardless of this, I guess, gender neutral training. Yeah. You know, I, I quote studies in the book, if I remember correctly, I think it's in, in the seventh chapter, showing that this happens with newborn babies. There are scientists that have showed that one day old babies, the boys have more interest in looking at mobiles and other geometric shapes, and baby girls have more interest in looking at human faces. So if this is all a social construct, then it's a social construct from day one. And it's also apparently a social construct in other primates. Because I also quote studies in the book showing that our nearest biological relatives, other primates, show differences in how males and females behave. So we should just embrace this, embrace the difference. Boys and girls are different. Uh, we don't have to socially engineer them to be the opposite sex or to engage in stereotypical or anti-stereotypical behavior. Just let them be themselves. Enough with the government engineering of little kids.